SEPA oyster baskets have been designed to suit a wide range of farming methods, including the adjustable long line system. Adjustable long lines are laid out in manageable rows that enable precise farm management and easy access to stock. These rows are set up as either two, three, or four lines, a hundred yards in length, which provides room for approximately four rows per acre. Depending on site conditions, riser posts can be positioned for two, three, or four basket spacings. Start by choosing the best line direction to keep the oysters spread out evenly in the baskets. Generally, this will be side-on to the prevailing current, wave and wind action. Prepare the infrastructure on shore prior to installation by screwing post risers onto the posts. These should span the lowest and highest tide heights with at least one middle riser. Mark out the line orientation and length using cider pegs across the farm side. Using a string line, peg where the strainer posts will be located at each end of the rows. Embed the strainer post into the sea floor until firm at each end of the rows using a water jet, then leave for a few days to settle. Roll out the pre-threaded SEPA cable and tie one end to the strainer post at the middle point of your riser clips. At the other end, slide on the donut tensioner and tie off the line. Turn the tensioner until the SEPA line is tight and can take your weight with little movement. Then place the pins through the donut tensioner to lock it. Use a simple jig to mark along the cable, starting at the first post position. Post spacing of 8 feet will allow room for three SEPA baskets. The distance between the line rows should be wide enough to walk between and not to allow the baskets to touch when they swing. Using a water jet or jack hammer, drive the riser posts into the sea floor until the middle riser clip is level with the cable. Ensure that the outside posts have the riser clips facing inwards to avoid damage from the boat. Repeat for all line rows, checking by sight down and across lines as you go to ensure they remain straight and level. You can now add storm breaker bearings at the required spacings and deploy your baskets.